Hello, my name is Kevin from Gabak USA. In this video, I'm going to explain you how it works, the ILO, and how you can manage all your servers through the network. So that way, if you have to monitor all the servers, you have to manage them, turn them off to see the temperature and everything else. I'm going to show you here how you can do it. So first of all, we have to know the IP of the server. So in this case, I know is 10.10.10.0.1.77. So I'm going to show you. Here you will see the there is a problem with the certificates and other things, but you just add to the exception, just confirm, and that's it. I mean, if you want to get the certification, you can do that as well. So here we are going to type the user and password. Here I'm going to zoom in so you can see everything. So now we're going to type the user, the credentials. And here, as you can see, we see the, the IP. And here you have all the overview. So we have the server name here, we have the product, uh, the, the model. In this case, we have a ProLiant, it's an HP. So I'm going to change the camera so you can see how it looks like. So as you can see here, we have the, the server. So the server is off. So the, the good thing is even if the, the server is on or off, you can manage it just well. I mean, you can see if, this, if you want to turn it on or if you want to turn it off, uh, reset it, do whatever. If you want to see, change maybe the, um, the boot order, you want to do whatever you want to do, you can do it with the server being off. I mean, it, the only thing you have to have is electricity. I'm going to show you how you can connect it that way. So now I'm going to use my cell phone. So that way we are going to see the, um, the other side. I'm going to activate my Apple the, the Apple, yes, the Apple TV. So now I'm going to change the camera. So as you can see, so this is the, the server in the in the back. So we have this uh, port here. In this case, this is a class is a Gen 8. So as you can see, it says ILO, ILO. So here we have this and we, here we have the other port. So this port usually is for the operating system that is uh, the resides inside of the computer in this case the server and to manage the server you're going to use this so that way you can have if you want two different networks or part of the same one so it is up to you so here in this case as you can see we have one power connector the other is off so we don't have to have two in this case because it's just for a test but if you if you're going to run a server i recommend you to have to one uh, when with one battery backup and the other one with another battery backup. So that way you can, if there is some failure or something like that, you can just um, uh, unplug the, um, the power supply. So you push and, and remove, replace it in case of failure. Or if one power supply goes, goes out, you can, the, the server will still run. So that is basically how you can uh, have it uh, set up. So now I'm going to change the other camera. So as you can see, I have my cell phone just uh, recording and the, the way it works. So basically with, with this uh, system, the system for if you are new in this kind of server, so the, the operating system is embedded on the BIOS. So you, you, can run, you can run everything with, I mean, with the CPU or without it with memory or without it, you're going to be, you're going to have access to the, the server. So that is the main difference between maybe building your own clone. I mean, your own say, server, if you buy the parts, the spare, the spare parts, and then you put them all together, you're not going to have this kind of features. So they all have a, one, one of the, of this system, they call it RAC or D R A. C and in this case HP they call it ILO so or ILO so that is uh, the the main difference and you're going to see another vendors they have their own stuff so basically that is how it works so now I'm going to change the camera so uh, you are going to see my other screen so here we have the serial number the product ID 
and if you want the remote access you can use uh, .NET or you can use Java if you want to. So here we have the firmware version and we have a lot of things. So basically you're going to see uh, I mean you're going to see all the information that you're going to need here and we're going to system information so here as you can see if you see BIOS uh, and hardware health it says degraded because uh, we don't have the other the other power supply is not connected so may, mainly that is the, the main issue here so if you want you can clean it or not so now we are going to show you here we have we can see the fan uh, the redundancy that of course the fan is is good memory uh, network and everything else so something like power supply is not connected it says fail uh, power status okay not redundant because we don't have the the other cable like i mentioned before and you can see the temperature and everything else so if you go here let's see something that might be more interesting uh, for you okay here you, you can see the sd card inside of this server you you can install the sd card if you if you want to save something we have the e-prompt and we have a uh, the version of the power management controller uh, we have uh, many other things so if you have to reset the ILO you can do it that well uh, uh, that way I'm going to show you something else here if you want to see the temperature so this is very interesting so that, that way you can see the front the back so the back is that and the front here as you can see is, is this one so you can see here the different sensors with different temperatures so the CPUs are hotter than the other parts of the server so as you can see you can scroll up and down and you can see everything so if you want to change you click here change back and you can uh, change the view if you want to if you don't want to see it 3d you're going to see it like like that so that is how it looks like so we're going to leave it like 3d and from view like it was before now i'm going to show you the power so like i said before one of them is disconnected the the bay 2 is disconnected the other one is connected here we see the the capacity is for 60 watts the firmware we see the processor uh, here we have the, um, the what kind of processor we have a cpu is a xeon e5 20, uh, 2420 and we have the the cores so here we have six core as you can see here we have the cpu 1 cpu 2 so here we have all the options i mean all the features and here we, we see this 64 bit so that is very important and we see the memory okay for processor uh, one and two and what kind of memory in this case is 1300 um, so 33 uh, 1333 so that is the speed and uh, here we have the network so as you can see the first one is connected the other one was connected that is what i showed you before here we have the all the the hard drives ba basically so that is how it is uh, set up right now and uh, here we have the firmware and uh, basically that is the may maybe the more more interesting parts here we can see different things like i said the log so if there is something wrong with the uh, with the server if you want to see the server like I, like i said before maybe you can launch here the java irc and then you're going to be uh, able to see everything that is going on now we have the the server is off so i'm going to try to turn it on in, in a little bit so you can see everything we have like i said before we we can boot i mean in this case uh, something that is very important that you you don't have it maybe in a regular computer even if you turn that computer a desktop computer in a server is that you can load the iso the iso the image file so that way you can load it in the system and then you can install maybe windows ubuntu whatever linux so that is is very important so you don't have that feature in in, in regular computers so here uh, we have different options so in this case you make sure that you have the license that is uh, activated otherwise it will not work uh, usually if, if you want like more complex stuff uh, in this case i think it, it may work i didn't try it in this in this server uh, here you have the boot order so if you want to change a uh, first dvd uh, second floppy disk usb and you say well say uh, you know what i want this to be the second one that is great you apply it that's it and let's say that for one time you say no yeah look 
next time I want to be first the USB, not the DVD. In this case, this, this server doesn't have any DVD, DVD, but just this is an example. So you apply, next time when it boots, it will boot for just one time uh, from the device that, that you want to, to boot from. So that is the main thing. And here we have the other. So we have the manage, uh, management. Um, server power. So uh, here it says, I mean, if you push it now, it will turn on. Uh, here you have a, a, another option, system power restore settings, always on, a remain off, I mean, af a, after there was a shortage, so you, you can decide, or you can leave it the, the last way it was, so usually it's better to leave it off, <laughs> you can turn it on anytime, and you can set a delay, just in case, if there is like a coming in, coming out very quickly, the electricity, you don't know, power, so in this case, if you want to, I think, I don't remember in this case if you need, the, like I said before, yes, I hear it, it says, uh, ad um, the ILO, the advanced packet uh, pack is not installed. So if you want to see the, the power consumption, you should have that installed already. So usually there are some few parts of the server in this case that you have to buy the license separately. And uh, here we have the network. I'm going to show you a little bit. Uh, here you can set the IP usually. Okay, here is the IP that I set. You can set it from here. You can set it from another place. Uh, I mean, when the computer boots up, it will tell you what IP, IP uh, is using. Otherwise, you, you have to set it up. Um, share network port. And here we have the registration. Basically, this is all we are going to see now. So um, now I'm going to show you from another another computer so that way you can see so now i'm going to unplug my computer i'm going to use this uh, hdmi i'm going to connect it here on the on my other windows computer usually i have it almost ready to to go and um, give me a second Great, now I'm going to change. So now I'm going to show you. So it doesn't matter if you have Windows, Linux, Mac, or whatever. So you can, uh, as you can see, it will work. There you go. So now we can go here where it says a remote con a console. Click there. And then we can launch uh, the Java if you want to, or .NET, whatever. In this case, open. We're going to wait. And now we have the screen. So the screen, let me see, okay. Now we have the screen, as you see, you don't see anything. So now we are going to turn it on. As you can see, you're going to see that the screen, the server is turning on. Let's see if I get it. There you go. As you can see, now we have the, the drives that start spinning and the server as well. So as you can see everything over here. And now I'm going to change the camera so you can see the, the screen. Uh, now it's going to take, usually takes two or three minutes to finish boot up, booting up. And the other important thing here is if you have the, um, the license on this server, you could click here and then record whatever you're doing. But in this case, this ILO is no license. So uh, the customer should buy it that way. You, you have that option as well. So as you can see, the same thing that you, you will see on the server is whatever you see here. So basically, if I want to turn it off, reset it, whatever. So you're going to see everything. Here we have the virtual drives, whatever we want to do. Now I'm going to try to see if I can enable the cell phone. There you go. So as you can see, that is the server that is booting up. Uh, so it's the same thing as you can see in the other one. So let me move. There you go. So I'm holding the, the cell phone and you can see in the other part the, that it's the same thing. So basically the same thing that you go that you see in, in the console is what you see in the real screen of the server. We, are, we have here connected the cable and, and everything. So no, I'm going to leave it leave it as before so that way it's easier and you can in, uh, press uh, pressing f9 you can uh, enter in the setup f10 intelligent uh, provision f11 if you want to boot up uh, in, from the different thing 
I mean from a different device and also there is I think it's F8 you have you can press it and uh, select the IP and set the IP that you want to use when you I mean for the first time when you want to start working the way you I'm doing it right now so now we have to wait a little bit and it will finish putting up Okay, as you can see, uh, we have Ubuntu here, so it will work just like if we were in front of the server, so we can do whatever. So this is a plain version, so I didn't do much here, so I'm going to leave it like that for the customer so he can do whatever he needs. And if you go here, you will see here we have like 27 uh, terabytes. Um, Okay, so now it finished the, the console, so that was a trial, I guess. So I'm glad that I record everything, so otherwise now I have to change the, the monitor and start working from the other side. So I'm going to enable the other camera, <laughs> so that way I can show you. So as you can see here, uh, we have the 27 terabyte, so we have all drives, and it, I think it was in RAID 5, if, if I'm not mistaken. And basically, you use the Windows the way it is. Yeah, I mean the Linux. We are going to turn it off in a little bit. I'm going to show you a few things, so that way we can take uh, advantage now that we have a server. Um, information I wanted to see if I can see the power if we can see the power here okay no I don't see the um, maybe it's not going to work like I, like I said before the power management the power meter that is what I I wanted to see but no I, I don't think so I'm going to have that option but uh, like I said before is I mean if you if you need them um, if you need no, uh, more, now I'm going to turn it off so that way uh, the noise will cease and uh, we can talk uh, better that way. There we go. Okay, now it's quiet once again. So basically this is uh, what we are going to find in this kind of, of server. So it's very good. I, I highly recommend. I like usually more Dell than HP, but basically that is what you're going to find. And if you're thinking well, what if I buy one of these servers and I don't have that option, the ILO? Or if you have a Dell or something like that. I had a Dell. I have a Dell. And it didn't have it, so I bought it separately. And I'll show you basically how it is. So I'm going, now I'm going to change the camera once again. Okay, so here we have. We have to remove this cover. Uh, so you can see here we have the RAM, so over there we have the RAM, so usually make sure that you buy the right RAM, otherwise you may have, you may encounter some issues. So as you can see, here we have the the car, so in this case we have the SAS car and we have the cache in, in this in this case. But uh, basically in my server is Dell, so here we have the this, this car and there is an option here that you can just uh, connect it I mean, you just plug it in and, and that's it. In this case, it's all built in already. You don't, you don't have to do anything else. And if you want to see the SD card, is built in in the motherboard over there. Here we have all the fans that you were seeing before. Here we have the CPUs and, and everything else. We have the RAM and, and everything. So basically, that is what you're going to, to get. Here we have all the power supplies. And basically, uh, that's it. I mean, I hope uh, you have enjoyed this this small video to, uh, teaching you how you can monitor and uh, manage all the, the servers. So as usual, I enjoy teaching you this class. Le remember, leave me a comment in the section below, subscribe and share with your friends and see you next class. Bye.